Hey, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time, welcome. I'm Derek and this is Chocolate CD Tech. Um, today we're gonna be building, we're gonna be working towards building um, a fully featured um, rental uh, project, right? So this is gonna be um, C Sharp or .NET, .NET Core uh, framework. Uh, actually, let me not say framework, just .NET Core. Um, and as far as the front end, I'm not sure yet. Maybe it might be a Nest.js or maybe Svelte. Um, I'm more comfortable with Nest.js because I do React, um, but I may switch it over to Svelte just because I've never tried it before. So uh, it will be a learning experience for me and obviously for, uh, for you as well. But maybe for you, unless you already know it. So um, what are we building? So I have nothing yet because I haven't built anything yet. What we're going to be building is um, an exotic car rentals, sort of like Hertz, but not like Hertz, because it's not gonna be whack like Hertz. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it won't be like Hertz, obviously, because we're gonna be renting exotic cars. <clears throat> Excuse me, which means you're not gonna just rent um, brand new cars. We're gonna rent, um, you know, things like 88 uh, E30s and stuff like that, right? Um, we're gonna be renting things like 98 um, M5. And if if you're looking at me and thinking that's not exotic. You're forgiven, okay? 98 M5, um, stuff like that. So should be fun. Um, things that I think you're probably gonna learn are some of the big takeaways. Obviously gonna be building a pretty hefty uh, API. Um, I'm not sure, I, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be REST API. I'm tempted to try out um, GraphQL, but I'm, maybe I'll skip on this project, maybe do a GraphQL in a separate project. Um, obviously you're going to learn how to do, uh, well, not, maybe not obvious at this point, but you're going to be doing authentication as well. So we're going to have the back end separate from the front end. And when we're done, we are obviously going to do some deployment as well. So, um, ideally we will, well, not ideally, we're probably going to be using uh, JWT tokens. We may do, um, OIDC. And if you don't know that, don't worry, you're going to learn it. So before we go even in, uh, further, I think ideally this is going to be for someone who's maybe tried a lot of different tutorials already. You know, you, you've done your your basic C sharp. Um, you've done some decent amount of JavaScript, and you know you, you've done a few tutorials or something. And typically, I don't recommend doing too many tutorials. I I would rather unless you've been deep diving into um, you know the topics and learning, but well, this is going to be for that person who wants to, um, you know, go go a little bit beyond the simple to do apps and stuff like that to something that has a lot more pieces and puzzles. To going to be building exotic car rental, and we're going to be building APIs. So we're going to be securing those APIs. We may do a back end for let's say like staff to upload in, uh, stuff. I think, in fact, we probably should. It's going to make it a lot better if we do that. Uh, for the for local development, I'm also going to introduce Docker so that we can have use Docker services, mainly because we're going to be using Docker when we do uh, Postgres. In fact, as you can see here, um, this is running on Postgres, right? Obviously, as you can see it. <laughs> and I just that. In terms of the tech stack, um, we're going to be doing for the back end C Sharp, obviously, so .NET Core. Likely we're going to be using the latest, uh, as of this tape and 5.0 is out, which brings together or ends the line for .NET framework. And that's why I didn't want to mention the word framework, but, um, yeah, so now there is, so from, so there used to be .NET framework and then used to be .NET core, which came around in uh, was like 2013 or something, um, which was actually supposed to be called .NET nest i think it was called anyway um so there's that there was that and it's still dot net core still exists but it's been around for a while and it's extremely powerful i mean as of right now i think it's probably one of the the fastest um web frameworks out there if i'm not mistaken i obviously can take those things with a, a grain of salt because everybody does their testing and even when it says <laughs> fully anonymous i don't know what they tested and whatever there's always some condition that will make one a little bit faster than another. But from my understanding, it, it is definitely at the top of the list when it comes to speed. So if, if you if you are looking to do 
something. Uh, if you're looking to pick a framework, a web framework specifically, uh, .NET Core is not bad to go. And on top of that, it's not only for um, web development. Um, I haven't really done any desktop development in .NET Core. I used to do desktop development in old framework. <laughs> old framework. Um, uh, doing Win, um, what was it called? Uh, not WinForm. WinForms was was the web framework. I think it was uh, Win. So I, I don't know. When I think about it, I'll, I'll post it. I, it's been so long since I did it. I don't even know. <laughs> but anyway, so we're going to be doing that. Um, .NET Core for the back end. As I mentioned before, we're going to be using Docker as a service because when we go to deploy, we're also going to do Docker deployment as well. So uh, for our database, we're going to be using Postgres because apparently it is the most powerful um, open source um, relational database out there. So I'm excited to play around with it. Um, so yeah, that's that. For the front end, as I mentioned, I, I, think we, I think I'm most likely going to do Svelte only because I've never done it before. Um, I'm, I'm a lot more comfortable with uh, Angular and uh, Nest.js um, or React, but I think just for this, because it's not it's not uh, mission critical, uh, so to say. So, uh, and I would like to learn it just for the sake of learning it, because uh, why not? It's another framework, right? Onto the Nest framework, All right? Yeah. Um, so Balmer, um, I most likely use Balmer for the front end. So <clears throat> no need to download anything at all. I just posted these up so that you can sort of see what we're going to be working with. But I think in the next video, uh, that's when we're going to actually get our environment together and possibly go over um, the data model, what the data is going to look like. should be pretty simple. I, I don't think it's going to be more than, I, I can't imagine more than maybe 15 tables or something. But again, that's going to be really good because if you've only been doing a lot of like, you know, simple to do stuff like that, this would at least expand your knowledge a little bit, um, move you beyond that, you know, to maybe one table uh, that you've been working with. Uh, Darko, obviously, as I mentioned, we're going to be working with that. And Svelte, supposedly, this is cybernetically enhanced web app. Uh, we'll see how cybernetic it is when we uh, go to play with it. JavaScript. Anyway, um, so I'm really excited for this one. So. Um, I'll see you in this one. As always, if you enjoy this kind of content, subscribe, um, you know, like all that good stuff. Follow me on Twitter, uh, wherever. I'm also on um, Reddit and all those social media fun places. Um, I may not be the most talkative person, but I'm listening. <laughs>